What's good, bro? Are y'all busy? You got time to get a free cut? You gonna be fresh. You see your boy fresh right here? Just trying to get fresh, bro. Sure, fuck it. Oh, sure. Let's go set oh, up right. where it, I'm not trying to do it in Ballpark Village because I feel like they'll kick us out. Can you go right over there? Yeah. How old are you, bro? Like this. Are you from St. Louis? You say what? Are you from St. Louis? No. Where are you from? Chicago. How long you been in St. Louis? A couple hours. Not going to lie to you. Are uh, y'all in? Y'all all from Chicago? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's dope. Are you in college or are you doing anything? Yeah. Where are you going to school at? Uh, Wilbur Wright. What you going for? Uh, architectural engineer. Okay. What made you want to do that? I don't know, I just like designing things, you know, like buildings, things of that sort. I was really just stuck between architecture and engineer. Why y'all come watch this game? So, to be honest, we was just like, her mom just asked us, well, we trying to take a road trip. We ain't know where specifically yet. But then she was like, she want to go to, uh, like, just see another stadium, you know? So we was like, they playing today, so we came here. How you meet your girlfriend? Uh, through high school. Okay. How long y'all been together? Uh, five months. Did you grow up with uh, both your parents in the house, or just how you grow up? Nah, just my mom. Okay. You talk to your dad at all? Yeah. Are y'all close? Yeah, we ended up, uh, we weren't really close. Cause I was just like a little, a little shy kid, off to the side and everything, you know? Yeah. But we started getting closer, like in high school, when I got more involved in more sports and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like me and my dad a little bit, bro. We bumped heads a lot when we were little. I feel like every time I see my dad when I was little, he was punishing me. Because he would try to, you know, keep me in line. Yeah. And then, and you're on your way he actually, my dad just died, like a month ago. But when I got into high gonna school, gonna I seen why he was doing the stuff he was doing when I was little. Right. Now, and then, you know, I kind of started like coming around instead of waiting for him to come. And sometimes you got to do that. It take a lot. Yeah. I don't know how he treats you or if you have a similar situation where you feel like he was trying to, you know, be mean to you, you, you know, you felt like he was too rough on you, but yeah. I know my dad, like, when I was little, I thought he was too rough on me, but then I seen, like, everything he was telling me for a reason. All right, that's, that's how it is. After being a child, then you get older, you start to realize a lot of things. I mean, all right, well, we're going to get real now, all right? This is the most important question I'll probably ask you all day. What you believe in? Like, spiritual. To be honest? I don't really know if I really believe in things, bro. And what? Like, I don't really know if I believe in anything, you know? Like, it's, it's weird with me. Was it in your family? Huh? Was it in your family? All right, bro. No. To be honest, man, like, spiritually, like, I don't, I don't know if I believe in God. Like, of course, I believe in, like, hope and faith and things and that sort. But like spiritually, I don't really know. It's like I got a weird perspective on it. So you know what the Bible says about faith? Well, it says faith, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So you got to hear the word of God, you know what I'm saying, to be able to believe in it. Right. But, you know, a lot of people are confused, bro, because the devil is the god of this world. I know that don't make sense because you'd be like, oh, well, how is God so powerful if the devil is the god of this world? Because he gave, you know, it's about like being free. Yeah. God is God ain't worried about the earth. He's, you know what I'm saying? He's in heaven. So like, when I say, when the Bible says the devil is the God of this world, it means like, look at the shit that's happening, bro. The world's evil. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. evil. But don't let that, like, and don't let, you know, little things just happen. I know a lot of people, bro, who, like, little things happen in their life, and they blame God for it. When it ain't even God, it's the devil. Or they just ain't doing right, you know? Yeah. Was you shocked that you had to come to the game without a cut? When you first was like, when she was like, hey, let's go do something? Yeah, I was like, damn. Is that her brother? Yeah. Two old bitches hit high in the 
air to a left field. Brock moves over. He's going to make this play I told in the you. center. He one hand. What's your biggest motivation? Having that thrive to be successful. What's success to you? Success to me, just being able to live life stress free. So stress free? Yeah. Just being able to live life, just knowing that I'm doing good, you know? Yeah. Knowing that the people around me doing good. Who are you close with? Closest? Uh, I was closest to my grandma. But, uh, she passed away in 2019. So I I mean, no, not 2019, I'm sorry, 2020. What'd your grandma teach you? Nah, she didn't, like you said what she teach me? Yeah, like what's the most important thing you got from your grandma? So just to express my emotions. Yeah, okay, that's, that's important, especially as a man. Yeah. Especially as a, a young black man like you too. Yeah, like she, she was just that person I, I could always run to, like, you know, like how they say we seem like we weak if we cry and stuff, like I, that was my person I could just run to and cry. What made you want to say yeah to get this cut? Because I, I always see like the videos online and stuff like this. So I was like, you know what? I feel like you, I feel like you can go uh, ask me questions and stuff. I was like, it's just something, I, something to do. And then I, I knew I, I would be helping you out, so. That's dope, bro. I appreciate it. I sure, I sure ask like 10 people, bro. Yeah. What's your tattoos on your body? Man? Uh, the one on my my right forearm, that was my first one. It was for, uh, for my grandma. It's just a quote that just came to my head. And I, I just like pieced together some things I found online. Mm -hmm. So I came up with something that was like, uh, you never really understand the value of a person until they become a memory. That's dope, bro. I mean, you know, I like seeing tattoos that mean something. Not that, you know, it, yeah. It don't matter my opinion what other people do with their body, but I think it's cool when tattoos have meaning and stories too. Yeah. That's, that's the thing with my tattoos. I told my mom, I was like, like, on, like honestly, she only let me get my first one because of like the backstory to it. Yeah. And I, I understood that I was like, yeah, the only reason I want to have like certain tattoos is they represent something. Like I don't want to just get anything on my body, you know? Cause it's, it's permanent. Like you don't want to just get something for like in the moment and then years later. Yeah, uh, Instagram or Lakin. Oh, uh, Instagram. What's your name? Lakin. 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 Yeah. L a y t o n. No, L a k e n. Lakin. Like Lakers, but Lakin. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, you here? You first in town. Saint Charles. Cause you don't want to get something that's like in the moment and then like years later you like dang you, you regret like of course you get it covered up or whatever but that's just extra. Yeah. Let me just tell you a story real quick before I keep going. I believe in God cause like I used to be bad bro I was like you know people looked at me like I had I had family members as I was a little kid tell me I was gonna be in prison when I was growing up. But like my grandma was like every time I went to my grandma's house like she wake up five six a.m. in the morning. She's reading her Bible. Like, you'll get up, because you got to go to the bathroom when someone's a little kid. You look in the kitchen, my grandma reading her Bible. She always prayed for us, you know what I'm saying? So, like, even when I was bad and I was doing just whatever I wanted to do, it's like my grandma and my mom stayed praying for us. And I didn't realize it until one day I woke up, like, a bunch of stuff happened in my life. I woke up and was like, I always believed in God, but it wasn't until the moment to where I could tell, like, okay, I really got to take God serious. Yeah when like stuff was happening in my life and it was just like damn why is this happening and then i woke up and was like man i don't want to be like everybody else god's called me and set me apart to do something else right. so like from that moment forward i took god serious you know what i'm saying i got i got born again so i got saved so i accepted jesus as my lord and savior and ever since then bro my life been completely different bro god is so good but you know i i, I ain't trying to push nothing i just i'm just no i, I get where you're coming from like even right now bro what, what just happened? I came, I'm gonna tell you what happened today, bro. We came here, we walked for like 15 minutes back and forth. I asked like seven people probably, hey man, can I cut your hair? They all said no. And then, uh, you know, we went out, we watched the game for a little bit. We was like, hey man, it's hot, let's shake. So, we was finna go get food. We were sitting in the car, I was like, hey man, should we, should we go back out there and try one more time? Or should we uh, go get food and go to, I was going to go to the arts. You see the arts? 
No. Oh, yeah, the arch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, like, we can go to the arch, and I bet people would be more nice there. Like, we could probably get somebody there. I feel like people at Ballpark Village are too busy. Okay. Guess what? I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and try one more time. So, I was like, you know what? I was like, you know why we didn't get nobody? We didn't pray. So I prayed. I was like, God, please bless me with the right person to sit in my chair so I can speak life and blessing into them. In Jesus' name, amen. And then, you know, we was walking around. We just asked like three people. We came here, walked all the way down there, and then walked back. And I had seen you earlier walking when y'all came here. So then I was like, you know what? I'm going to ask this kid, bro. Now look, bro. That's what I'm saying. God is real, bro. I'm just, just let you... That's just a little thing that just lets you think about it, you know? Yeah. St. Louis is different, bro. Yeah. I got a homie out here. Bro. Hey, that's not good for the camera. <laughs> I said, hey man, look, that's the devil, bro. The devil try to, you know what I'm saying? The devil made me cut him. He trying to mess up my video. I'm trying to tell you, see, what I teach you about. I brought up God, right? I brought up God, what happened? The devil tried to get in there and try to, you know, take it away. Hey man, I hope you enjoyed the experience. I did. Yeah, it was cool, man. It was a better experience. Hey, I know next time, in the hottest hit, I ain't even touching the Razor, bro. <laughs> What's up, man? Where y'all from? Chicago. Okay. What made you want to come to St. Louis today? Um, because I was bored, first of all, we were trying to go to Tennessee, but then I'm like, there's nothing to do there, so we came here. Don't be putting me on camera. Okay, I don't girl. even have makeup on. How old are you? Hey, I got to put on the microphone first. Make it sound. How old are you? Oh, I'm 14. Well, uh, are you in eighth grade? Yeah. You're about to graduate. Okay. That's what's up, bro. Congratulations mm. on graduating in eighth grade. You thinking about what you want to do after, you know, you get done? Hmm? You thinking about what you want to do after you get done with, after high school? Like, you even uh, think about it? Not really, yeah. I'm just trying to focus on one thing at a time. Okay. What's it? This is, this is, you can answer this however you want, bro. Don't take it, don't take it personal. What do you believe in? Like, spiritually? Uh, you know, I believe in God. Who is God to you? Uh, you know, he's someone who, you know, throughout my life always been there for me. Whenever like, I pray at night, whenever I go to church, I know that right, if I had a rough time, I'll pray about it. Next day, a week later, everything would get better. And so that's what helped me believe in him more. That's dope, bro. Then, then who taught you, like, who taught you about God? Her. Mom? Yeah. Who is God to you? God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost? Is that, do you believe in the same thing? Okay, that's what's up. That's dope to see, you know. That's why I, that's why I do this, because I want to have a conversation, you know, because you don't never know what people believe in the world. Huh? Yeah, just about, well, just anyone. Just about, like, you know, I want to start out seeing who they are first, and then, you know, you ask them what they believe in, because you don't, I don't want to be, like, pushy, because, you know, when people push God on people, it pushes them away from it, from God, so, yeah. So it's dope, bro. That's, that was a good answer. I appreciate that. Appreciate the conversation, bro. Glad, you know what I'm saying? Thank you for letting me cut you up. It was a dope experience, man. All right, y'all, so, you know what I'm saying? I risked parking here. I got a ticket, man, but we got the video, so it's worth it. Appreciate y'all, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. God, love.